traps the monster. Daisy, the pet trap jaw, sniffs out the monster and its tracks, leading the team to combat more quickly. She will also try to revive incapped players. Harpoon traps can be placed on the ground to limit a monster's mobility, allowing teammates to deal extra damage and escape from danger. The machine pistol has a wide spread, but deals significant damage in a firefight. The strength of the trapper class is the ability to contain the monster and force the fight. Deploying the mobile arena is critical to your team's success. Hold the equip button to take the mobile arena down. Daisy will lead you to the monster. Once the monster is in the arena, deploy your harpoon traps, then start dealing damage with the machine pistol. Keep an eye on Daisy. The icon above her head will tell you if she's tracking the monster. Daisy can detect sneaking monsters. When Daisy is sniffing the ground, the monster is in stealth mode nearby. Daisy will lead you in the right direction. If Daisy isn't tracking the monster, lead her around the map until she picks up the scent again. It won't take long. Daisy will lead you in the right direction, but you might need to break away at the end to get in front of the monster and trap it. Once you have the monster trapped in the mobile arena, hide and defend yourself until backup arrives. If you go down, so does the mobile arena. The monster can destroy harpoon traps before they arm. Hide your traps in spots where the monster is less likely to destroy them. Once the traps are placed, lure the monster towards them. Remember to plant some harpoon traps as you enter combat, as these will aid in your team's escape, should they need to. But keep in mind that traps take a few moments to arm. The machine pistol is inaccurate, but powerful. Shoot in bursts, and aim for weak spots in the monster's armor to deal the most damage possible. Griffin is the trapper. He hunts down and traps the monster. Sound spikes can detect a nearby monster. An icon will appear on the HUD. Hold the fire button to stop the monster's movement with the harpoon gun. When the monster brings the fight, use the submachine gun to do some damage. Remember to use the mobile arena. sound spikes as you move through the environment. Can Choke I points and feeding myself. grounds are often the best locations. Once you have the monster trapped in the mobile arena, hide and defend yourself until backup arrives. If you go down, so does the mobile arena. After you deploy the mobile arena, plant a sound spike so your damage dealers can locate the monster and close in for the kill. In combat, Keep the monster between yourself and your teammates. A well-placed harpoon can stop a charging monster dead in its tracks and save the lives of your fellow hunters. Wait until the monster notices the harpoon cable, then release the trigger before he can break it. This will start the reload a fraction of a second sooner. By the time the monster has recovered, you should be ready to harpoon it again. Your submachine gun should only be used when a sound spike has been placed and there's no need for a harpoon. The submachine gun deals little damage, so aim for the monster's head or weak points in its armor. Abe is a trapper. He hunts down and traps the monster. Use the tracking dart pistol to tag the monster or tag wildlife and corpses. If the monster eats something that was tagged, it will also become tagged. Stasis grenades dramatically slow a monster's movement, taking away much of its melee ability. The faster the custom shotgun is fired, the greater the pellet spread. Slow the fire rate for increased accuracy. Remember to use the mobile arena. As you move through the map, use the tracker dart on as much wildlife as possible Paying particular attention to easy prey like marsh striders. If the monster eats these creatures, the tracker dart will automatically trigger. Just before the mobile arena goes down, hit the monster with a tracker dart 
so that you can follow it for as long as possible. Once in combat, keep the area covered in stasis grenades. This slows the monster, effectively neutralizing its melee damage, as well as making the monster a slower moving target for teammates. The spread of the custom shotgun worsens as you shoot faster. Slow down the pace and pick your shots to improve accuracy and damage. Crow is the trapper. He hunts and traps the monster. Gobi, your pet bat ray, outlines any nearby creatures. Send him in any direction and he'll sniff out the monster. The stasis gun slows the monster down. Rapid fire shots slow the monster for a very short time. Hold the fire button to charge a shot, which slows the monster longer, allowing you to switch to other pieces of gear. Quick bursts with your long rifle do normal damage, but holding the fire button charges a shot, which ignores the monster's armor, dealing direct damage to its health. Remember to use your mobile arena. paths for Gobi. This maximizes his visibility and the chance he'll find the monster. If you know where the monster's hiding, but can't see it, send Gobi. He'll highlight the monster and alert your teammates. Lead with a short burst from your stasis gun. Its effects last long enough for you to switch to your long rifle. Perfecting this cycle keeps the monster slow, maximizes your damage, and keeps your teammates safe. Charge shots from your long rifle completely bypass the monster's armor. Once the armor is gone, switch to rapid fire shots. They deal damage at a better rate than charge shots. That is a trapper. He hunts down and traps the monster. Use the survey satellite to search for the monster. Its beams identify the most recent tracks or corpses and highlight the monster directly. The repulsor pushes against the monster to control its movement. Bend the beam to alter the direction of force. When the monster attacks, fight back with your dual pistols. Remember to use the mobile arena. The survey satellite is most valuable when you have no leads on the monster's location. Its beams penetrate walls, so don't hesitate to use it indoors. It also does a little damage. Each beam scorches whatever it touches. The repulsor applies a pushing force along the beam's path. The beam can be bent to push in different directions. Use this to protect teammates from a distance. It can even force a kraken to the ground or keep it in the air.